I'm going to show you the strategies I use to make $40,000 in two months as a 20 year old realtor. First off, there's not going to be any fancy editing or fancy cuts in this video. If you really, really want to learn something and apply the same strategies to you, then watch all the way to the end. And if you don't watch all the way to the end, then you're probably just one of those people that don't want to learn anything anyways. If you're watching this, you're probably young and want to make a lot of money. I'm the same way in my systems and strategies to getting there are not the get rich quick, fancy strategies and programs that you see all over Instagram and social media nowadays. And a lot of the times, if you actually dig into those businesses and people that say that, either one, they're scams, two, they're not actually living up to the things that they tell everybody, or three, they're just selling the idea of business. They're not actually doing anything that they say they're doing. Now, there's thousands of videos out there regarding real estate and how to make money in real estate. And trust me, I've watched like 99% of all the videos. And none of them really go into detail and explain the strategies I specifically use to sell real estate as a young realtor. The strategies I use will not get you rich overnight because that's impossible but i promise you they will make you money very very soon if you just apply them and stay tuned to the very end to hear the strategy that literally got me immediate results leave the fancy cheesy sales scripts at home do not bring them with you when you meet people they can smell bs from before you even meet them if they can tell you're just trying to make a quick sale on them. I promise you, especially if you're young and look young, just like me, they'll be super, super shallow with you whenever you meet them and guarantee they'll use somebody else after you guys leave that day. Be as genuine and as normal as possible. There's so many fake people nowadays that are so ingenuine and try to be someone they're not. People are literally craving real human interactions with real genuine normal people and if you're a good realtor you don't really have to use any of the fancy sales scripts you sell based off what the market gives you for example if someone's looking to buy in a neighborhood in the last two months 20 homes have sold that neighborhood you can ethically and morally say based off this this and this this home that we're looking at now will sell very quickly and we need to make a decision pretty soon or else it's going to be sold. If you can back up what you're saying with the market and real numbers that you can show to their face, they're going to be more likely to listen to you, especially if you're young. Number two, people are way smarter than a lot of salespeople give them credit for. No one needs to tell their clients their family would work good in this house because nobody knows that family better than the family itself. They know how the family operates. They know the family routine. They know what works best for the family every single day. You're not the one that's living in the house. They are. That's some of the things they're looking at when they go into the house to see how it's set up for their family. So if you go in there and try to say, yeah, this house will work good for your family, but it actually doesn't, that's just gonna make you look dumb and not credible. And then, you know, the bad things happen after that. A lot of times, this is where realtors tend to mess up, to kind of scare clients away. This either happens when the realtor is getting impatient with the client, or they're just trying to make that quick sale and get the commission and get out. Side note, yes, you can probably leverage some emotions here, but I will almost guarantee that if you do that, and that home does not fit that family's needs, they will wake up at some point during the process and have buyer's remorse and try to back out of the contract in any way possible, or they're going to literally make your life insanely stressful. If you have multiple deals going on at the same time, that is the last thing that you need. Now granted, it will probably take a little bit longer to make that sale, but I promise you, if you find your clients the right house and you can tell that it's the right house, they will literally sell the house to themselves and it will make your life so much easier because if the house fits their needs nearly perfectly because there's no perfect house, but if it fits their needs nearly perfect and it's what they're looking for, they will literally almost do whatever it takes to make the sale happen. It will literally make your life 20 times easier 
as a realtor because there's not gonna be that resistance with your clients. This will lead to long-term repeat business because your clients will associate a good, positive real estate experience directly to you and tell all their friends and family if they're looking to buy a house to go to you. Number three, work on communications more than sales. I've always struggled with confidence and communication. I was the kid that literally could not get out a single sentence without stuttering. I couldn't put two sentences together. This is probably one of the most important strategies being a young realtor. Because if people can't understand what you're talking about, not only are you young and look like you don't have any experience, but they can't understand anything you're saying or you're stuttering or you don't look confident at all. That's just a recipe for a disaster. People to never contact you ever again. Work on how to talk to people, work on your handshakes, make a nice, good, firm handshake that sets the tone for the rest of the relationship. Work on your greetings, work on your eye contact, work on pronouncing your words, work on talking to multiple people at the same time because that's a different dynamic in itself. Sometimes you're gonna have a mom, a dad, a grandparent, a grandparent, uh, a kid, a kid, their aunt, their uncle, and you're gonna have to talk to really all of them. You can't really just talk to one person because then you're just separating everybody else out. Work on confidence in yourself. How do you posture yourself? Do you come off as confident or do you come off as kind of this shy kid that doesn't really know what he's talking about, kind of doesn't really know what he's doing? How do you do this? Reps. Reps, 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 reps. When I did my detailing business full time for three and a half years before real estate, I talked to 20, 30 people new people every single day. I forced myself into those uncomfortable situations every single day. So I had no choice but to improve in those aspects. Go on as many showings, as many inspections, as many meetings as you possibly can with more experienced agents and force yourself into those uncomfortable situations. That way, whenever the time comes that you're on your own, you're you're prepared, you're ready, you know what to expect. At first, it's kind of like jumping into an ice bath. At first, it's like, <gasps> you freak out, you panic, your body doesn't really know what to do, but then after a couple minutes, your body starts to relax, it becomes normal, and it becomes easy to manage. At first, it's gonna be super uncomfortable, but the more reps you take, the easier it's gonna be. As a young agent, that trust bar is already set lower than if you were an older agent. That's just how first impressions work. You cannot argue with the dynamics of human behavior because that's just the way they are. Have a great introduction, know how to talk to people and be confident. Number four, first impressions. When I first walk up to meet a client for the first time, they off the bat know that I'm young. Not only am I young, I'm 20 years old, but I also look younger than I actually am. I get the question, well, how old are you? How long have you been doing real estate? Et cetera, et cetera, I've heard it all. Prepare for this question and know how you're gonna answer it before it even comes up. My saying is, I've been helping people buy and sell real estate for the last two and a half years. It's actually my dream job and I'm super excited to get an early head start on this. That way, whenever I'm 30 or 40, I'm like way ahead of my competition. I have never had a negative comment after saying something like that. They're either inspired by it or they're just happy to join my journey. Now, before I actually had two years of real estate experience, I had to leverage everything that I possibly could to pass off as experience. For example, if you work at Walmart in the customer service department, you can say I've worked full time for two years in customer service. If you have two years of real estate mentorship, leverage that. If you don't have anything and you're just starting out, Leverage your brokerage. How many houses does the brokerage sell every year? How much training does the brokerage have every year? How many showings have you been on with other agents? How many hours of training do you have? Anything that you can find that helps bring up the trust bar, besides the basics, good communication, quick responses, being reliable, showing up on time, keeping your promises, etc. All of that will help with building the trust that you need to make your clients trust you. This strategy right here is the most important strategy that has literally been a complete game changer in how I sell real estate. Realtors are one of the least, if not the most, untrusted professions in the world. 
Get that through your head. So that means before you even meet somebody, they are already having that negative connotation towards you. They think that we're greedy. They think we're just out to just get money. They think that we're just out to just get rich quick and scam people and just to take, 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 take. Multiply that by 200 if you are a young realtor and you look younger than you actually are. People just think that you are just the greediest person. You just want all the money. Just like for some reason just rains money on me. To a lot of agents, that scares them away from the industry. And it really wasn't until I learned how to leverage that untrustworthiness that it really, really negatively affected me as well. Now, one of the things I do when I first meet a client at a home, I get there early, I look over all of the property disclosures and I go through and I find all of the little defects, even if they're obvious, bonus points that they're not obvious and you can prove it first. You may be thinking, well, that's kind of counterintuitive. Aren't you trying to sell the house? Won't this scare them away from the house? Maybe, but like I said before, before we even meet, prospects and clients are already kind of walking in thinking we're just gonna be lying to them. Everything that comes out of our mouth is just lies and sales and blah. But when we point out all of the negatives in the house first, that really, really throws them off guard. They're gonna take a step back and be like, whoa, maybe he's kind of looking out for me a little bit. Maybe you say something like, look, when I help someone buy a house, I go through the process as if I were the one buying the house. I would want to know all of the defects, the history of the house and everything wrong with the house first before I make the biggest decision of my entire life. The goal is not to sell the home. The goal is to sell yourself and why they should use you. You may actually show them that that house is not going to be good for them. That is perfectly okay. Because sooner or later, like I said before, if you do that to a couple of houses and you're out there literally trying to protect them, even if that means walking away from potential sales and they're gonna realize, hmm, this young guy is actually a real genuine person trying to help me and not just trying to make a a quick sale. He's actually trying to take his time. He's actually really methodical and he actually cares for his clients. And that's exactly the reviews that I've gotten. So I'm proving that this works. And that time actually does come around where you do find them the right house and they do love the house and all the numbers make sense. But they are going to 99% of the time take your advice on what they should do regardless of your age because you have shown that you are trustworthy. You have shown that you are a real, genuine person trying to help one person out. Now there is a more technical side of real estate, right? There's nurture campaigns, there's how to answer a phone call, there's cold calling, there's getting leads, all this fun stuff. But I'm just telling you the strategies I've used to be successful in real estate. Keep it as simple as possible and don't try to make things fancy. Kobe Bryant literally practiced 800 jump shots every single practice. He wasn't out there practicing 360 behind the back between the legs dunks every time. He was practicing the basics. Those are the strategies I used to line up $40,000 in commission in two months. I'm still growing. I'm still building on my foundation of being a realtor. So I'm not teaching you how to do it. This is just how I did it. If you think that's going to be helpful, apply these strategies to your business and see how that works for you. If it works well, let me know down in the comments if that works. Or if you're already doing some of these, let me know down in the comments as well. If you're wanting anything specific as far as real estate related or being young in real estate, let me know. If you think this is helpful, subscribe to the channel. But yeah, more videos coming soon.